Well, it may be summertime here at Pepperdine University, but we still have more stories with Pepperdine Sports Productions. Coach Julie Russo, tell us where you're heading this summer. Belgrade, Serbia. I'll be uh, coaching with Team USA Basketball, and I'm thrilled, thrilled, in the World University Games. What are some of your expectations for this new experience? You know, I don't know if I have any expectations. I'm really just going to take each day, um, one day at a time, and to learn, you know, really go out and just be open to every experience that, that comes my way. And uh, I, I'll learn from the coaches, the other coaches. I'll learn from the players. But it's just an honor, quite honestly, to be a part of USA Basketball, uh, not only representing Pepperdine, but literally your country. Uh, and there's a lot of... There's, there's just a lot of honor that comes along with that. And so I'm excited and thrilled. And, you know, we're going to Belgrade, Serbia to come back with the gold. Talk a little bit about what your role will be at the games. Uh, I'll be an assistant coach, uh, one of two assistant coaches. And uh, I've worn that hat a few times. So I, I, it's like riding a bike. I feel like I can get back on that bike and ride it well. Uh, but, but really just to be a support. And, and uh, I'll be coaching the post players uh, this summer, uh, strictly post players. And so that's exciting. Uh, the World University Games is basically still college players, some of the best players in the world, Maya Moore, Tina Charles, Jane Appel, uh, really wonderful players. And uh, I just want to do my part in helping them to be better. We actually really do come in and unite as one for our common goal. And again, that's to get the gold. <laughs> one more time, what one? Uh, to get the gold. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay. Got it? Got it. All right. <laughs> All right, so when you head back to Pepperdine after this experience, what do you think an experience like that will bring to your players here? Just, I think... The experience of working with, with uh, other coaches uh, from other programs, learning from them, uh, learning from the players. Um, and, and I want to bring that experience back to our kids, playing against the world, literally, um, and letting them know that they can do just as well uh, here. And that's what I want to just come back with a better knowledge of the game, more experience, and um, hopefully I'll get to know a little bit about a, a Belgrade uh, Serbia cuisine and bring back a few recipes, you know, that kind of stuff. But no, I just want to be a better coach. <laughs> what are some of the things that you're doing right now to prepare? Research. Uh, spoke, I've spoken to Coach Asbury. I went up to uh, Stanford uh, this week to, to watch a post-workout and just really learning uh, and uh, watching a lot of videotapes, talking to several people. Annie Myers Drysdale, I spoke with her. So I just want to be knowledgeable and prepared uh, going into the World University Games. Research, research, research. <laughs> What's it like to be able to coach kind of, you could say, the cream of the crop from the country? What's that dynamic like? You know, it's, uh, it's fun. Uh, you you just get to see players do things at a very high level. It's pretty easy coaching the cream of the crop. I mean, they, they are special, uh, a special talent. But um, I think that all of us have to be selfless and really get up to speed very quickly uh, in terms of, you know, being on the same page and having a common goal. Uh, it's a lot of fun uh, just to see some of the best athletes in the, in the nation uh, really get together and compete. Uh, two players, two post players actually this uh, played against each other in the semifinal of the national championship game. But during trials, they wanted to be on each other's team. So I think that speaks volumes in terms of the respect they have for one another. They know that uh, each other brings a great talent to the game. And so uh, they're great. Uh, trials were wonderful. D during the trials, you know, kids just jumping in the air and catching a ball that seemed like it was going out of bounds and just making spectacular plays. But more than that, there, you know, there, there's a work ethic that I think these players have that, um, you know, being able to coach some of the best players in the world when I coached in the WNBA, you know, it just you, you see that same type of, of, of player. And I think we have some of those players here. Um, but it's a lot of fun. I actually saw two players, they played against each other in the semifinals of the national championship this year. And although they were, you know, opponents and rivals at that game, you know, during the trials, they, were, they wanted to be on each other's team. And so I think that there's a healthy respect that they have for one another and one that they know the capabilities and the gifts that each other has. And they're glad that it's on one team. Well, best of luck to you. Thank you so much. Go USA.